Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back again with another important prophecy that confirms others. And I felt like I could not lay down and rest until I brought this to you. So, again, it is Monday, August the 24th, and it is now 7.51 p.m. I found this on um, Grafted in Team Jesus. They recorded it late last night. So she couldn't go to bed either until she got it up. And it was in my email this morning to watch. Okay, so let me bring this to you. It is uh, Sword of the Lord by Byron Searle. Well, she says it's surly, so I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It was posted by 444 Prophecy News, and I do realize that not everybody who posts a prophecy to this website is getting a word from the Lord. We have to use discernment in all things. Um, always take them to the Lord if you're not sure. This was given or put up on August 23rd, 2020. All right, it's called Sword of the Lord. August 23rd, 11.48 a.m. by Byron Searle. All right. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. He received it on August 20th, but he did not release it until August 23rd. He received two scriptures with it. Jeremiah 12, 12 and 13, and I will read those. The spoilers are come upon all high places through the wilderness, for the sword of the Lord shall devour from the one end of the land even to the other end of the land. No flesh shall have peace. They have sown wheat but shall reap thorns. They have put themselves to pain, but shall not profit. And they shall be ashamed of your re revenues because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Okay, that sounds like a judgment. Let me continue. Here is the word he received. My son, set your ear toward heaven and hear my voice this day I have shouted the warnings to prepare I have sounded the klaxon to be ready I have whispered things to you to tell my remnant let me find out what that is right quick Siri what is a klaxon spell K here's what I found Oh, she knew. It's a second extended play by Japanese electropop singer. Well, okay, that's a play titled that. Okay, so that's not what we wanted. Uh, a second extended play. French director. Let's see, it's got to be a thing, right? It's not given another definition. Released March 12, 2008. This might mean something to somebody. Single by Emmy, I M M I, from the album Switch. So that's a song that was second extended play by Japanese electropop singer Emmy. So it's a song. Okay, let me go back to the word. And we'll, knowing it's a song, let's see how it goes. I have sounded the klaxon to be ready. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Let me go back and hit Google. What is a... Klaxon, question mark. Oh, a horn. 
an electric horn or similar loud warning device. The tug blew its klaxon three times. Why is it called a klaxon? Well, who cares? What is a klaxon, a type of uh, a vehicle horn? Oh, yeah, they used to put them on the old cars. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Remember, you, they'd have to <laughs> push the bulb. Uh, it's a kind of loud horn formerly used on motor vehicles, a klaxon. Um, okay, so it was an old horn, a kind of loud horn formerly used on motor vehicles. Okay, so a horn. So, the Lord said, I have sounded the klaxon to be ready. I have whispered things to you. To tell my remnant. The remnant. The first fruits. Now my sword is bearing down on the world. And on this most vile nation. I have given seven weeks to prepare. To get your hearts and houses in order. To call a solemn fast and repent. For now is the time. Six weeks have passed. Are you ready? There is one week remaining. To gather yourselves and your hearts to me. Repent now. For the time to prepare is nearly up, and my sword will strike this world. My son, I weep, for many of my pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have taught lies and abominations to my children. Woe to you children! who have not come out of the great whore and choose to reject me. The sword will cut asunder all that have followed man and his lies. These pastors have been more concerned with numbers and money than the holy God. I will send my sword to cut them asunder and rip my part from them. These lying pastors will gladly follow the son of perdition and take many of my children with them. And what did I talk about last week? Twenty, and many people did put it up. Twenty-seven hundred pastors signed up, uh, Oh, what was it? It's about, oh, to convince their, their patrons, their congregants, to take the mark, the, excuse me, not the mark of the beast. Yeah, it really is. But to them, it's a vex and yay, you know what. And Mark, that goes with it, the nice little tattoo that can prove you got it. So you can buy and sell and work and, and go into the shops and buy and, and sell, you know? You know. These lying pastors will gladly follow the son of perdition and take many of my children with them. Woe to those who teach false doctrines and follow pros false prophets. My judgment is upon this world, not blessings. My son, days of upheaval and great darkness are upon this nation. As the king I put in power, is fulfilling his place.
Let me reread that. My son, days of upheaval and great darkness are upon this nation as the king I put in power is fulfilling his place. He's talking about Trump. I say, stomp the ground, shout a great shout, break the jars, for my sword is cutting out my chosen. That's his first fruit, y'all. Are you part of it? Are you going to be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass? He did tell me it was his bride, 144,000, and some others. And it'll be all the children. You might as well tell all the people you know with children, be, per be ready, your child will be gone in a week. Will you believe it enough to tell? All right, for my sword is cutting out my chosen. They will rise and shine as the sun to gather the harvest. My precious jewels who have yearned to serve me will step onto the stage. The time is now, my son, to draw close to me. Tell my remnant to draw close. Nay, draw closer. My son, my children have not heeded the words of warning from my watchmen and prophets, and their blood is off your hands. We gave the word. If we give the word and people choose to ignore it, their blood is no longer on our hands. If we withhold the word because we don't want to give it because we're not really sure if that's going to happen. And somebody dies and goes to hell when that one word might have been the thing to save them. Their blood is on our hands. Those who mock and scoff at these words given will stand before me and give account of their words. My word says that I tell my watchmen and prophets of things that will come to pass. You, my children, have been warned. Repent now. For you do not know when you will stand before me. Repent now of sin and wickedness in your hearts. My son, my children have rejected the ones that I have chosen. The ones that I have marked. They chose to ignore the warnings to prepare. Those will perish. Oh, Lord, have mercy. They say, We are poor and have no money to prepare. I say unto you, You have had nothing for seven weeks. Many have the chance to prepare. But starting in one week, the store shelves will grow more barren and the time to prepare will turn into a time of survival. Repent now, repent now, repent now. The sword of the Lord is falling, and many will be caught unaware. Prepare now. Get your house in order, and get your hearts in order. My son, many have prepared. They are the wise virgins, and they will have a place at the great feast. They will withstand my fierce anger as my sword comes down. Many will be changed into my mighty warriors, going forth in a dark world for a short period. Stand fast my chosen ones. I love you all. 
and we'll see you all very soon. Amen. Given by the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Three thousand two hundred and twenty one total views. Well, it all sits right with my spirit because I know the coming is very, very, very soon. I did not realize he had been given seven weeks or maybe I heard it and I forgot. I'm not sure. I, I doubt that I shared it, but it, if I did, great. I hope I did. I used to have a problem with sharing prophecies. I felt like the Lord had told me not to. But I realize now that was back during the time when I was getting lied to. I have told, told you before, I had been lied to by deceiving spirits. There was a short period of time when the Lord allowed me to be deceived, receive some, and it was when I couldn't even put stuff up on YouTube. But but I reshared, but I shared some of them after I got back on YouTube. I'm not sure where that one fell. But I don't believe the Lord Jesus Christ would call me to have a truther channel to tell the truth, dispel the lies, get messages and share them, and not believe another brother or sister and share theirs? Well, that doesn't make sense. Perhaps at the time I didn't have much discernment. That could have been it. I don't know, but this I know, he's coming soon, very, very soon, for his bride, the 144,000 and some others, which means there's more than that, but it's not millions. People just aren't ready. They don't either believe it's soon, or they're not listening, they're tuning out. Anybody sends them a YouTube video, they just delete it. That's how my family was. They just, my sister finally told me, I'm sorry to tell you this, but we just delete all those videos you send. We don't even watch them. See? That's like the mailman sending you a check for $100 or more that you won in a sweepstakes you entered and forgot about and you just tore it up and threw it in the trash. The words from the Lord, messages from the Lord, are like jewels, you know. Yeah, they're pieces of the puzzle, especially way back then in 2013. A lot of stuff was being said that People expected it to come to pass that year, but it didn't. That was just the Lord starting to prophesy through people, and he did it before that. It, I mean, he, David Wilkerson got, a, got messages in 1973 and on, so his were really old. And then you've got... Um, Oh, I can't think of their names. Some guy that used to be on one of them TV Christian shows. He got all kind of messages. Um, and I believe he got them from the Lord. I can't remember his name. I can see his face and I can't remember his name. But anyway, that was just one here and one there. But as the years have gone by... We've seen more and more and more people getting words. Even children, even little babies have been seeing the Lord rise up and going, Abba, up, Abba, up, you know, because 
They, they didn't understand what they were seeing, but the Lord was using an infant, basically, I don't know, probably 18 months old, to, or maybe two years. Well, they say Abba up, yeah, probably more closer to 18 months or less. Because by two years old, you're talking better than that. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. And I want to plead the blood of Jesus over it so it'll go up. And over the internet connection, over myself and my computer. And over each and every single one of you and your devices. And your internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say, let us all be found worthy Pray, brothers and sisters, that we are found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. How about that? Hallelujah. Jesus is coming with a sword to cut out his remnant and take us. Yep, and then we'll be trained and then we'll be like superpowers. How about that? For the Lord to harvest the wheat. Good night, goodbye, I'll talk to you again soon, and maybe it'll be in person. How about that? Hallelujah, praise the Lord. He is worthy to be praised.